Congratulations on setting up your new web hosting venture. Uh, I will show you today how to set up email piping to WHMCS, and I'll go through some of the common troubleshooting errors that you may encounter. All right, so just to give a little backstory, uh, I've had several web hosting companies in the past. Um, this time I'm setting up WHMCS, uh, not for web hosting uh, company, but for a CRM software. Um, but I've used WHMCS and I love it for billing. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to, to show you how to set up the email piping. So uh, first things first, uh, you want to make sure, um, and this is a mistake that I've made, that the permissions in your um, crons folder is set properly so all the scripts could execute. So go ahead and navigate in your FTP program to your uh, WHMCS installation, click into crons, and make sure that uh, all of these should be executable. But uh, for today, we are mainly concerned with pipe. You can set your permissions to really however you want it as long as all these can execute. Um, by default, if you upload it, these may not be, um, the permissions may not be correct. And you're going to run into issues with that. You're going to get a bounce back email, which I've encountered. The second thing is make sure that your pipe.php file is not corrupt. Um, so if you've opened it and you've even maybe added space to it, it may corrupt the file. So just make sure that you have a, uh, that you've downloaded the latest version of WHMCS uh, or whichever version that you have. But if you're setting up a new web hosting venture, you should have the latest version. Uh, and just make sure that you upload the, uh, the file fresh from uh, WHMCS. Uh, the reason is they use uh, Ion Cube to protect their software. So if I open this um, this file, you see that all this basically encrypted uh, stuff. So just adding one space or anything to it will corrupt the file. So make sure it's not corrupted. So now we're going to uh, go to uh, cPanel to uh, set up the uh, email uh, the forwarder to um, pipe to WHMCS. Now. Uh, you should be using cPanel. If you're not, um, this might not be the best tutorial for you because this is kind of based on, uh, you know, with WHMCS, I'm going by the assumption that you're using WHM and cPanel. So uh, go ahead and log in um, to your cPanel. Once you're in here, uh, scroll down under email, click into folders, and what you want to do is uh, set up uh, set up the um, the folder to go to the uh, to pipe.php, and the way you would do that is click on add folder, and then let's say that um, I already have uh, the sales and support email set up, so I'm just going to put maybe test at you know uh, the domain. And then um, click into advanced options and select pipe to a program. Now this, uh, what you want to do is start typing in like public HTML and then make sure that it's always uh, auto suggesting the path because if it doesn't, um, there's a good chance that your uh, path is incorrect. And that's uh, obviously going to pro uh, cause problems. So uh, set that up, click on Add Forwarder. And this is basically uh, how it should relatively look like, uh, this being your um, user account and this being your whatever uh, email that you want to set. I'm going to delete this for now. Now, next, uh, what you want to do is, um, and this is a very important step because I didn't realize this. Um, in the past, it I in the previous versions of WHMCS, I didn't run into this problem, um, but I think with the newest version, uh, they've added some more stuff to it. So what you want to do is go to uh, click into setup and then go to support and then go to support departments. And then uh, over here, uh, click into uh, uh, 
um, whichever department that you're setting up the email pipeline to go to. So if it's sales, it should be uh, sales at your domain name.com or uh, support at your domain name.com for support. Uh, and then click on this little edit icon. And what you want to do is make sure that you've checked the admin user. If you don't, you will not see the tickets show up uh, in your dashboard as the admin user. And as well as assigned to anybody else that, that's on your uh, team. Um, again, this is a very important step. And this is a step that I kind of overlooked because I didn't, uh, or at least from a recollection, I didn't have to do this with the previous versions of WHFCS. But then again, that was three, four years ago. Uh, next, um, what you want to do is go to utilities, go to log, and then go to ticket mail import. So at this point, um, your uh, email piping is set up uh, correctly. Again, make sure that the permissions uh, are enabled so pipe.php can execute uh, and make sure that file is encrypted. Um, so after you've added the forwarder, uh, this is a nice view because uh, this will allow you to troubleshoot anything. Now, uh, so if I go ahead and open my email and I send an email to sales at sales or sales at sales, Close your M. This is a test for a YouTube test. And I go ahead and send this. It should, if I refresh this page, it might take a few moments for it to uh, actually uh, come into the system. Sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, but. Um, what you want to make sure uh, when you're sending the test email is don't send it from your administrative or really any staff email because what's going to happen is that it's going to say ticket ID not found. And when I was uh, going through this, um, this is something that I uh, stumbled across a uh, forum where somebody ran into the same issue. So make sure when you're sending the test email that you don't send it from your admin uh, email address. Cool. So now at this point, the ticket has showed up here. But if I go back to this screen and I refresh, see how the ticket says uh, ticket import successfully. Now over here, the reason why it says unregistered uh, email address is because uh, for support, uh, I want it to be enabled only for uh, customers. So um, because the email that I sent the test from, I wasn't a customer, it, it uh, basically rejected it and showed this message. And also it'll send an email to the recipient letting them uh, know that. Uh, so at this point, we've successfully set up email piping uh, for WHMCS. And um, and uh, this basically, it, it took me um, a few hours to, uh, to configure and figure out because it's something that I haven't done in, in many years. Uh, so hopefully this will save you a great deal of time um, and again, make sure that the permissions are set. Uh, 755 is what I recommend, but I think you can also do, uh, I think, 700, I believe. Let me, let me just double check. Oh, no, you can't do 700. Uh, but you can, um, well, I recommend just setting at 755 for your uh, permissions. And uh, make sure that your pipe.php is not corrupt. Um, and also make sure that you go to setup support, uh, support departments, and uh, click on the edit icon and check uh, the uh, your admin user. Otherwise, it will show up in your log here. It will show up in the mail import log, but it will not show up up here. Uh, nor will it show up in your uh, tickets um, uh, uh, dashboard. And when you launch your web hosting business. Be sure to send out a press release. Let me show you why. Um, press Release Jet is a press release dis distribution company that I have stake in. Um, and let me show you an example. So when somebody types in the word Press Release Jet and we scroll down a little bit, see how it shows up in the top uh, stories. Now, what I uh, personally do with my uh, with uh, this uh, business is that we send out regular press releases with keywords. So your keywords could be whatever niche of web hosting that you, um, you're in. And uh, what's nice is that it stays in the, um, in the top of Google for 
uh, at least a few days, sometimes even a, a, a few weeks. Um, so it's great to, to help get your, uh, uh, a, a quick boost for your new business. And also, uh, when you uh, send a press release, um, this is a really, uh, this is a strange, it's strange that Google decided to pick up this media outlet, but then again, Google kind of, uh, you know, selects their, uh, their own thing. So I'm going to click in, uh, open the action, the full news story here. And here's a few tips. Make sure that in your uh, press release when you send out, include your company name in there as well as maybe a, 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 a keyword. And also link to some of the uh, articles on your website because that's going to, all this is going to help uh, boost the, uh, the SEO of your website. Um, so that way when somebody searches for your company name or uh, any relevant keywords, it'll help uh, you rank in the, uh, in the search engines. Now, the really cool thing is that if you go to uh, pressreleasejet.com slash compare, you get an idea of what the com uh, competition charges. You may or may not have heard of a PR web or a PR newswire, but these are two of the largest press release distribution companies. Now, uh, at $775, this is uh, basically the stuff you get. Now, the cool thing is with press release jet, you pay $75. There's also a $35 plan, but I recommend the $75 one. And you get all the stuff, and you save around $700. So it's uh, it's not only a, a great deal, but I think it's going to help you, uh, especially when you're launching your business. And also check out this ebook on how to dominate um, Google uh, search results using press releases. Uh, in this ebook, um, which is uh, written by, by me, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to get to the top of Google using the knowledge graph, uh, get to the top of Google uh, in Google News, as well as how to uh, leverage uh, press releases to build up your uh, SEO. And the really cool thing with the press releases is these backlinks, um, they're uh, a really high domain authority. So you can spend all day uh, doing, you know, using, uh, SE Nuke or Scrapebox, uh, Blog Comedy, and all this stuff. You can spend tons of time on that, uh, but it's not going to yield nearly as much results as just sending a press release through a legitimate company. And of course, I'm going to plug in my own um, uh, or the one that I have staked in uh, because I think it's it's by far the absolute best deal that you can possibly find because you'll get featured on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and CW, and also. Um, you'll be able to add uh, these uh, authority icons on your web hosting company. So it's going to help uh, build confidence with your uh, audience. If this helpful, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I have other WHMCS tutorials as well as uh, to actually plenty of tutorials on digital marketing, including Google AdWords, SEO, and email marketing. Um, also, make sure you like this uh, video. Uh, feel free to post in the comments if you have any questions or comments. Um, and it's always exciting to uh, start a new web hosting business. And I've had several in the past. And uh, what I uh, uh, recommend as, as far as a tip is focus on your business and growing your business. Don't get too caught up with the uh, technical uh, stuff on your website because honestly, you can spend hours and hours and days and days or even weeks. Um, trying to get that interactive uh, feature on your website or to get it perfectly exactly how you want it. Focus on, on the customer and serving your customer's needs because that's going to give them positive experience. They're going to stay with you longer um, because it's a lot easier to keep a customer than to get a new one. Um, and also, if you serve your customers right, they will refer uh, their friends. Um, but uh, that's, you know, uh, over time. Don't expect referrals, uh, you know, within the first month or a few months. It's, it's, it's a long-term thing. Other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and best of luck with your web hosting business.